So I wanted to have like a dramatic intro with this mouse, this Logitech mouse that I've been using forever. I was gonna take a sledgehammer and just blow it into pieces and just have a lot of fun. But somebody took my sledgehammer. Who does that? Well, I have an alternative for what we're gonna do with this mouse. You wanna see? We're gonna put it somewhere special. In the trash. Bye-bye. You know why? Because we got something that's on a whole nother level. The Logitech MX Master 3 for Mac, specifically for Mac. You can use this for PC too, but it's specifically designed for Mac. We're gonna do an unboxing. I'm gonna talk about this mouse and why it's the best mouse ever made and how you should be buying this and making the investment into yourself to use this because it's gonna really self help save you a lot of time, which is way more important than money. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and jump into the video and check out the mouse. All right, so here it is, the MX Master 3 for Mac. We're gonna go ahead and open up this box. I gotta whip out my knife again, my knif. Here it is. There we go. I swear I've done this before. There we go. All right, we're gonna open up the box. A little bit different of an experience than it was on my stream deck opening it up. There we go. Nice little MX on the front of the box. Okay. Now let's go ahead and put this tab on the front. Let's check this baby out. Ooh, pretty nice presentation. I like the way they did that. Let's go ahead and take this thing out. Wow, this thing is big. It's a much bigger difference you can see here. Fits nicely in my hand. I like this concave. What you'll notice that's different from my other one, I had a scrolling wheel on the top, but the quality of this one is just so superior. It's got a metal wheel here. I know one of the things about this one is it has an electromagnetic wheel. There's a lot of different buttons here. I think there's seven, total of seven different functions. And we're gonna jump into these today. I like the feel of this. This is really, really nice. Let's see here. So it's got a really quick little charging cable, which I'm sure comes with it in the box. Let's go ahead and check out and see what's else in the box. Let's see here. So we got this little box right here. Some literature, probably a quick start guide of how to get it all going. I don't always like to read the instructions, but this kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of how to get started with it. We're going to go ahead and go without that mxsetup.logi.com. So that's where we're going to go to set this thing up. All right. So what I like about this so far already, I haven't taken this off. There's a on off looks like switch here. Yep. So we can turn this on. So you turn it on, you connect it to the Bluetooth, and then we go to the mxsetup.logi.com and you can see our easy switch. So there's three different devices you can set it up to, which is really cool. So you can see here, one, two, three buttons. So I can connect it to my iPad. There's a lot of things I'm gonna talk about in this video that's gonna blow your mind. All right, let's go ahead and open up Bluetooth preferences. Okay, so we're connected there. Now what I need to do is there was a URL on the box that we're gonna go to. So MX setup, MX setup .com pan hold middle button so there's all kinds of different setups that we can do here to download for mac go ahead and click on that and download the installer on the desktop go ahead and click it oh it's already working wow this is so smooth all right so now that it's all set up i got the mouse working it's working on my screen i want to cover the benefits the features and if you stick with me till the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how you're actually gonna be able to test drive this thing with me for the very first time. One of the main points of this video is I want to prove to you that this is literally the best mouse that's ever been made. I wanna make a video all about it. I felt like this was a special moment. I've never spent $100 on a mouse. Now you could say that that's too expensive for a mouse, but the reality is, is you gotta have the right tools to do the job the right way. And this is an investment. So this is something that I'm going to be using for a very long time. It's gonna speed up my workflow. So let's go ahead and first talk about the benefits. The first benefit is speeding up your workflow. What does that mean? That could be mean working in Photoshop, working in Illustrator. If you're like me, I've been using my trackpad for a long time. That is not fast. So when you have a mouse that you can actually use and this thing scrolls beautifully, you actually can speed up your workflow, saving you time, saving you ultimately money. And especially if people on your team are using it, it's gonna save them time, which is gonna save you money. So that's another big deal. The second thing is eliminating the trackpad. Like I said, getting rid of that, it's hard on your hands, it's hard on your fingers, carpal tunnel, all the different things that can happen with that. A mouse is much, much better to have. The third thing that's the benefit of this is again, there's no dongle. 
How many times have you lost a dongle for your mouse? It's been so frustrating for me. I've had this happen to me multiple times, and then you have to go buy a whole new mouse. This is a Bluetooth mouse, and it is an incredible piece of technology. It works really, really good. The connection was almost immediate. The third thing is app-specific customizations. Because it has all these special buttons here, I have the left one here, the back, front, back. I have the scrolling wheel, which is really beautiful and smooth. I have a button here, I have a button here, I have a button here, I have a wheel, and then this wheel also taps and scrolls, I believe. This one just goes up and down, but this one taps as well. So there's a lot of really amazing buttons that are right at your fingertips that you just couldn't do with the trackpad. So you definitely got to check this out. I think this is a really good opportunity for you. And then the other thing, like I mentioned toward this beginning of this is this can actually be used because it's Bluetooth. Oh, wow. There's even another button here. I just noticed on the side. Wow. This one right here, you can see there's a button right there. This button is actually going to allow you to open and looks like it minimize and, and maximize windows, which is pretty neat. So there's a lot more buttons than I was even anticipating, but you can use one mouse for multiple devices. So you can see here, there's three different settings here. I can use one for my iPad, I can use one for my iMac, and I can use this for my MacBook. That is awesome. Not a lot of mouses. I don't know if there are any mouses that really have that level of uh, profiles that you can set up on here. And those app customizations, I think, are gonna be really, really big. Beyond a mouse, I'm just curious, what product would you like me to review? I've done mouses, I've done computers, I've done laptops, I've done so many different things, but maybe there's a product out there that you've been on the fence about that you would like me to review. I'd love to check it out. I'm always looking for new gadgets. I'm working on some, some big deals with some other product companies that I'm gonna unveil to you guys here soon, but I would love to get some feedback from you. So drop a comment down below. Let me know what product you would like me to review. All right, so now that we've talked about the benefits, I think it's really important to talk about the features. So I like benefits first. I think benefits are more important, but features are also important. Now, this is completely customizable for different programs. So I can have customizations inside the app for Photoshop, for editing and Illustrator. There's an undo and redo button here on the side that'll help you speed up things really quickly, not having to hit delete or go up to the menu bar and hit control Z or any smart key. Everything is right here at your fingertips. There's the lateral scroll, as I mentioned. It's really ergonomic. I mean, the way that it fits my hand is just unbelievable. And then you can use it with your iPad, like I mentioned. And then the last thing is it has a superb battery life. I don't know what it takes to do a full charge on it, but what I can tell you, what I did find that I knew would be really important for you is in you can get in one minute, three hours with a review set of this in one minute. That's a super fast charge. I just plug this right in here into the USB on my laptop, USB to USB, and it'll charge it up and give it three hours of the charge in just one minute. So let's go ahead and open up one of my programs like Photoshop. Uh, I wanna start there and then we'll just do some day-to-day -day work and then I'm just gonna do some browsing, just see how I can use this thing in some different ways. All right, so I got, let's just do some text. So I click on it and let's just say Adrian Agency. Okay, I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna make this bigger, 48, 36. Okay, we're gonna change the font. We'll just do Montserrat, it's a popular font. Mont, there we go. We'll just use this. We'll make this a little bit, this is the first opportunity to use the scroll wheel. Wow, that thing really scales nicely. Super cool. Electromagnetic. Okay, let me click on this again. Click on here. I wanna see if I can hold down shift and then see if I can do this. Whoops, okay, so that goes in and out when I hold down alter option that zooms in if i hold down command it doesn't do anything if i scroll if i hit control it doesn't do anything so none of these do anything but if i hold down let's see here if i can do this so i click off of it i can hit this little back button doesn't look like it's configured yet oh so that changes my background so this is like your right click okay let's go with this and see what this does this button here okay so that pulls the window out and pulls the window back in that's a really nice feature to have. And then you have lateral scroll. So I'd be curious to see if you're doing this, what the lateral scroll does. I haven't been able to use the lateral scroll yet, but we'll see if it does anything. Maybe I can hold alt or option. Okay, so that zooms in again, like we did last time. Bring it back in. Oh, okay, so that one scrolled just like the wheel does. So it works very similar to the wheel. So let's see here. So if I go like this, okay, so that's really cool. This has been pretty nice so far. So it looks like I have to custom set this up. So I have to set up those commands specifically on the mouse before I can do that test drive. Let's go over here and see what I can do on a web browser. So let's just go to adrianagency.com. Okay, website's up. Let's just say I wanna to go to one of my pages on my site. Let's go to the About Us page. 
there should be an undo and redo button. So if I go here, yep, it sure did. I hit this back button and it went back. I hit the forward button and it goes forward. See, I hit the right click. That's the right click button. And now we'll see if it does the same thing with pulling it out. Yep, so it lets me switch toggle between windows. Look at that, how many things I'm doing just off of that one. Let me see if I can hit some of these, if that does anything. So this little scroll wheel isn't usable here. Let me see if I do it here. Nope, but it probably does work here. Yeah, so it works here just fine, this scroll. So there's a lot of stuff I can do with this. I love this. This is a really, really nice mouse. I'm excited to learn more about this, to use this, to really get familiar with it. The last thing that I wanted to do here, let me just pull this up, uh, was just day-to-day -day work. So just clicking around, scrolling around, opening up programs, um, just the, kind of the day-to-day -day stuff. I think this makes it a lot easier than the trackpad. And I think the pre preciseness that I can have with this versus trying to use the trackpad is much, much better. Check out the Logitech MX3 for Mac or for PC. They make them for both. You can get the one specifically for Mac. This thing is beautiful, ergonomic. This is gonna be my go-to mouse. And I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to show you it. And this is one of my favorite gadgets that we're gonna learn more and more about. And you're gonna hear more about as I use it more. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, drop a thumbs up, drop a like, make sure you hit the bell so you get notified of all my other videos. Cause I don't just talk about tech, talk about mindset, talk about strategies, talk about marketing and sales. There's so much we can do and we got a community. So go check out the Instagraphics Pro Network on Facebook. The link is down in the description and I'll see you guys on the next video. Until next time, I'm Adrian Boysell and as always, keep looking up.